Now continuing with the model we just finished with in the last session, um, I actually misspoke in that video. I said that the feed tank temperature was 20 degrees C and that was my intention, but actually we simulated uh, a feed at 45 and a feed at 55. So I'm just going to fix that here because it would be much more normal for that to be at 20. Okay, in this session we're going to do quite a lot with the model. Um, we're going to add some chemistry and have the contents of the feed tank react with the contents of the solution phase. And then in the next video we'll continue a little bit more with that theme. Um, so we're going to have a new component, um, introduce a new component. I'm going to um, call it substrate. I'm just going to change um, this header here. I'm going to say we got 500 millimoles of substrate in the ethanol and we're going to add 500 millimoles of reagent also in ethanol. So substrate and reagent are going to react with each other. I'm going to sort of realize now as a model builder becoming a Dynachem power user, I do need substrate to be listed on the components tab. So I could have copied and pasted the name, but I didn't. I just typed it. Um, and the reaction that I'm going to set up is going to be substrate and reagent giving product. And then uh, so that means I'm going to need a product. Um, I'm going to use an Excel formula to get the correct molecular weight for the product. And then I'm going to have product overreacting with uh, reagent to give our old friend impurity A. So uh, again, if it's a reaction between product and reagent, the molecular weight is going to be 384. So um, if I was being ultra careful, I would uh, format paint these to make them nice and violet, but uh, you know that that's really down to your own personal style. Now to have the chemistry occur, of course I need to add a further element and the place to add further elements to a model is the process worksheet. And once again, as we've done before, I'm going to go to the finished keyword, I'm going to go to Dynachem process and I'm going to add irreversible reactions. At least I think that's what I'm going to add. Now I'm going to go to this one just above reactions irreversible. I think it's going to give me a more general version of the reactions lines. So I'm just going to click that and um, some additional rows will be inserted. These are indicating that the rate constants that we see below for uh, each reaction line are the rate constants at 40 degrees C. There will also be an activation energy to allow us to calculate the uh, temperature dependence of the rate and there will also be an exotherm. I'm going to uh, give the top line, my uh, main reaction, an exotherm of 120 kilojoules per mole. And then in this kind of violet colored area, this is where we can say you know, what's reacting with what. And I've already said to you, it's going to be substrate plus reagent gives product. I'm going to uh, leave off any byproducts there, and then it's going to be product plus reagent, you just got to spell it right, gives imp A. Uh, capitalization isn't important, color is not important, but for readability, I'm just trying to stick to the convention I've already introduced. And right now, the placeholder values for the rate constants are equal for the two reaction lines. Um, in general, these parameters would be fitted to experimental data. So you would need to do experiments to find out these numbers. But for now, for this model building exercise, I think we're almost good to proceed. So I'm just going to do a quick visual check. I've got my ethanol and my substrate in solution. I've got my ethanol and reagent in the feed tank. I'm doing the addition over two hours. I think we're ready to simulate. So I'm just going to press the simulator button. It's possible making that many changes. We might have introduced some 
some typos. Looks like we're still good to go. So I'm just going to continue to click OK, continue to focus on experiment one. And once again, use the kind of iPod control play button to simulate the behavior. So now the feed tank, of course, continues to empty. Um, the ethanol continues to build up. It's just a solvent. Um, the reagent builds to a peak during the addition and then falls away. So we can see here that some chemistry must be continuing to happen after the feed has concluded. Um, this, this would often be referred to as accumulation of a reagent in the system. Um, feed tank temperature is now correctly displayed at 20 degrees. Jacket temperature, um, you know, we, it's very simple what we're doing with the jacket. We're holding it at 80 all the time. Um, solution temperature has a slightly different trajectory. The exotherm probably isn't too strong, but the sensible heat of cooling from the feed is still retaining that same kind of shape. Feed tank volume, of course, drops to zero. Um, jacket duty looks kind of similar to before. Um, what I've realized here is that I forgot to tell the system that I wanted to plot the amounts of product and the amounts of impurity in the solution phase. So I will permanently fix that in Excel in a moment. But for you, a uh, further tip, you can right click on the plot and you can edit the series that are plotted. Um, a big list appears to the right. Uh, this list is in alphabetical order. So if we want to see something about the solution phase, we can press the S key. It will take us down to all the variables that relate to the solution phase. And we can just interactively add impurity A and product to the list of things that are plotted. So I'm just going to briefly examine those. Product has indeed built up to, um, just clicking on that brown curve, 0.1833 moles. Impurity has built up to almost as high. Um, this is related to the fact that the rate constants in this uh, model building example are pretty similar for both and therefore impurity is able to compete pretty well for a reagent. Uh, we wouldn't get a very good yield or selectivity under these conditions. So I've just tried to show you there how to introduce some chemistry. We'll do some more with chemistry in the next video.